Hello everyone, I'm Ashley Banfield and welcome to Legal View. We are finally getting word now on what started that police chase that led to the shooting death of a six-year-old boy in Louisiana. Little Jeremy Martis had autism. Jeremy couldn't speak and he was defenseless as he sat in the front seat of his father's truck and was shot by police five times in the head and chest. And now a source close to the case tells CNN the two officers started their pursuit of the boy's father after they witnessed an argument between Chris Few, that's the father, and his girlfriend in front of a local bar. Our Nick Valencia is live in Marksville, Louisiana for us today. So what is it apparently these officers saw that set in motion this deadly chain of events? Well, the source close to the investigation characterized it as a domestic dispute, whether it was just a verbal confrontation, uh, perhaps a physical confrontation, that's still unclear. Uh, but Chris Few did leave the scene, and what Marshall saw uh, was enough to pursue Chris Few's vehicle. That ultimately ended at a dead end, and 18 shots being fired into that vehicle. Chris Few was injured. He's still in the hospital, but it was his little boy who was fatally shot, hit five times in the head and chest. Today, Ashley marks one week since that shooting happened, and it's still unclear exactly why authorities used lethal force. And because of a gag order just issued by a local judge here, the answer to that uh, may not come anytime soon. Ashley? And yet we are getting some answers, albeit in, in dribs and drabs from players who are yeah. joining the case. We're not present, but uh, an attorney in the case, I believe representing the, the father, uh, says there's body cam video clearly showing that this father had his hands up when the shots were fired. Is that true? Well, there's some discrepancy in that reporting, that uh, being told to the Associated Press. We don't know if the attorney has even seen the tape. In fact, we've been told it's just a few people, two people, the judge and another local official that have seen that tape. Uh, we reached out to the attorney. The attorney uh, said that he did not want to comment about that. I spoke to his secretary yesterday. They do not want to comment on that. But what you have to understand about this community, Ashley, it's a, it's a very small community, 5,000 people here in Marksville, Louisiana, where everyone seems to have a reputation. People are tied into each other. As a matter of fact, the district attorney here has recused himself from the case because the assistant district attorney, his son, Norris Greenhouse, is one of those deputy marshals that's been charged with the murder of this six-year-old. Uh, I spoke to the mayor yesterday and he was uh, very nonchalant when he was talking to me about the, uh, uh, the suspicion that there is corruption here. He says there's a division in the police force and he has uh, himself has had an encounter, negative encounter, with Derek Stafford, one of those uh, deputies that is charged in the murder of this six-year-old. Just listen what he had to say to me yesterday about the uh, community here in Mark. It's a close-knit community, and uh, he has friends in high places, and uh, we tried to go ahead, and, and uh, I tried to talk on the, to the previous chief about it, you know, and nothing was done. Uh, that's why at the time that I, I had a problem that I wanted to get rid of the chief because some of the issues weren't getting addressed, so we, we uh, hired another chief. So you hear him there talking about wanting to get rid of Derek Stafford, that uh, marshal here locally that has been charged in the murder. Uh, we can tell you that both Greenhouse and Stafford were transferred yesterday about 40 miles away to Alexandria, Louisiana. Uh, they say here locally that uh, the system there, the jail system, is better suited to handle those two individuals. Ashley. Nick Valencia reporting for us live. Thank you for that. Our other big story today. I'm the leading state sponsor of terrorism.